Thank you very much. Please, Mr. President, don't stand. That wouldn't be right. Good evening. Thank you, Mr. President, Mrs. Obama, distinguished members of the press, and Bon Jovi. Yes, it's an honor to share this stage with the president. When you think about it, the president and I are a lot alike. We both went to Harvard. We both have two children. And we both told Joe Biden we didn't have extra tickets for tonight's event. We also have something else in common. Like the president, I too recently got in some hot water by talking about a public official's good looks. It was the time I wouldn't shut up about that stone-cold fox, Secretary of Transportation, Ray LaHood. Oh, man. I like the cut of his jib. But President Obama... President Obama, you had some great jokes. It was a pleasure watching you stand up here and do what I do. So now it's only fair that I get to do what you do. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. For the next 15 minutes, I'll be mired in a tense, dysfunctional standoff with Congress. This is going to be fun. Now, right away, I'd like to formally congratulate the president on his re-election. Congratulations. As you all know, the president is hard at work creating jobs. Since he was first elected, the number of popes has doubled. <laughs> and the number of Tonight Show hosts has tripled. Congratulations. And while I'm at it, I'd like to congratulate President George W. Bush on this week's dedication of his presidential library. Yes, the library has millions of books, articles, and documents. And if you go, you can be the first to read them. You can't hurt me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get going. Uh, right here at the start, I'm going to share something with you people, and this doesn't leave this room. I say this with absolute confidence because we're on C-SPAN. Who doesn't love C-SPAN? Seriously, C-SPAN. It's an entire channel shot with the backup camera on a Ford Explorer. Congratulations to C-SPAN for winning the bid to broadcast this event. They narrowly beat out HGTV2, QVC South America, and the Hilton Hotel How to Check Out channel. That's right, the Hilton. It's great to be here at the Hilton. Is it just me or is it time to stop using Priceline to book this event? No, I love the Hilton. I really love the Hilton's motto, sorry, the Radisson was booked. You know, I was worried that because of the sequester, we would be forced to hold this event at a less prestigious hotel than the DC Hilton. Then I was told that's not possible. But I do want to thank the Hilton for accommodating us. They were kind enough to reschedule a Cash for Gold seminar. By the way, for those of you here for the Cash for Gold seminar, that's been moved to Salon B on the mezzanine. And if Joe Biden asks, there are no extra tickets for that either. Quick announcements before we really get going, before we continue. If any of you are live tweeting this event, please use the hashtag incapable of living in the moment yeah yes 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 also to any u.s senators here tonight if you'd like to switch either your dessert or your position on gay marriage please signal a waiter by the way speaking of dinner tonight's entrees were halibut and filet mignon or as CNN's John King reported it, lasagna and couscous. There's a gavel here and I don't know why. Here's a fun fact about tonight's food. Everything you ate this evening was personally shot by Wayne LaPierre. Don't worry, it was during a home invasion though. The fish came in through the window. That wasn't peppercorn, that was buckshot, ladies and gentlemen. Incidentally, you may not know this, but Wayne LaPierre is merely the executive vice president of the NRA. Which begs the question, how freaking crazy do you have to be to be the actual president of the NRA? He's not even at the top. 
Also, I'd like to acknowledge that earlier this evening, there was some confusion with the seating chart. For a moment, some, someone accidentally sat Governor Chris Christie with the Republicans. That was awkward, and I apologize. <laughs> Very awkward. But speaking of tables, before dinner, I had a chance to mingle. You probably saw me. I worked the crowd. I shook some hands and sold my Twitter account to Al Jazeera for $500 million. <laughs> They'll buy anything. <laughs> But it is an absolute joy to be here at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Last year, Tom Brokaw criticized this event for having too many superstars and A-list celebrities. When I told Tom I would be attending this year, he said, that's more like it. <laughs>